So you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, and you're wondering, is Portland safe? Well, we're gonna get into those items and discuss that right here. I'm Aaron Cullen, I'm a local real estate agent, and this is Brianna Cullen. And in this video, we're gonna get into all the aspects of answering your question, is Portland, Oregon safe? This is kind of a controversial topic, and if you want to bring all the trolls out on YouTube, talk about loving Portland, Oregon in 2022. So the spoiler is we live here in Portland. We love living here, but there's a lot of questions, especially since the pandemic and the George Floyd murders rioting here in Portland, wondering what's it like in Portland now? Is it safe? So we're really gonna talk about our experience living here. I'm a local real estate agent. I'd be happy to answer any questions. My information's right down there in the description area. I love talking about real estate, so feel free, any question, reach out. All right, let's get into it. We have get tons of comments and questions. Is Portland safe? The comments really are getting at the fact that people don't think it's safe. People really have seen the worst of the news around Portland in the last two years. And people expect the worst, I think, when they when they think about what it's like here in Portland. So I'm really just gonna give my experience of living in Portland. Yeah. And I think it helps to give a little background to where I have to compare it to and where you have to compare it to. So we moved to Portland a little over three years ago from Los Angeles. And I've also lived in Orange County, California, San Francisco. Um, and I've also spent time in Seattle, the Midwest. I grew up in Arizona. So that's really the comparison that I'm bringing to how I feel about Portland. What about you, honey? Yeah, and I'm originally from New York. I grew up in Texas and Austin, Houston and then went to school in Phoenix. I also spent time in Kansas City in the Midwest, and I lived in Los Angeles for 20 years. Then we moved to Portland, Oregon. So I like to feel that, oh wait, and I lived in England for a year as well. When I was a kid, my mom is from England. So I like to think that I have a pretty well-rounded view of the US and of the world to a certain extent, and this is just our personal opinion. We're the boots on the ground right here in Portland. So we just like to share our experiences with you guys. If you're thinking about moving here, instead of just listening to one news source where they do sensationalize the news, news is very negative. So we just wanna share with you what our experiences are here personally. Okay, so just to give a little anecdote from today, and what it's like downtown Portland today. I have a corporate job that is 100% remote. So I went into our office in downtown today, right on the edge of Old Town, which I would say yeah. is one of the rougher pockets of downtown today. And I hadn't been into that office building for two and a half years. So the last time I was there was December, 2019 right before the pandemic, I went in to upgrade my iPhone and I haven't been in again until today in the end of August, 2022 to upgrade my iPhone again. And I will say it has a worse feeling today than it did two and a half years ago. So the impact of the pandemic on that part of Old Town, I could feel it today going into the office now, there aren't a lot of people working in that office. A lot of people have gone remote or hybrid in the last two and a half years. And so that adds to some of it, but there are some homeless encampments around that part of Old Town. As I was in getting my phone upgraded, I talked to the guy who works in IT and asked, you know, how do you feel coming into the office? And he said, I really don't like coming in here our office is actually moving from that part of downtown to the Pearl this winter. And I think, you know, that's one of the reasons is that the Pearl is an area of downtown that feels a lot more livable. It feels safer. It feels more hip. And so I think that's just a story to give a sense of 
the pocket by pocket nature of how safe it feels down here. Yeah, and, and that and that office building is literally right on the edge of downtown and Old Town, right? Yeah, it's like on Burnside. And that also highlights a reason to reach out to us. If you're thinking of moving here and you're thinking of actually living in downtown, um, it is certain pockets are better than others. So reach out, give us a call, and we'd be happy to discuss that with you over a Zoom, and we can pull up a map and discuss different areas that might be a good fit for you. So after we left that office building, we just drove a couple of blocks over to Broadway and it's a completely different feeling. So you saw a lot yep. of people out, people having lunch outside, tourists walking around, the Portland Theater. And that part feels like a vibrant, just normal downtown area. And now here we are moving through the Pearl and we're, we just passed Whole Foods. Across the street is a Madewell and a West Elm. So, you know, this feels like any sort of shopping commercial district of a, of yeah. a downtown. Yeah, it's like here's, here's West Elm right here that we're crossing. Yeah. I lived in Portland about 10 years ago and spent a lot of time down in the Pearl then. And to me, this feels very similar. I don't notice any difference in the Pearl. Yeah from 10 years ago. And even in parts of downtown, I mentioned to you that little corner where John Flubog shoes and some other yeah. shops, that area hasn't changed at all in yeah. 10 years. No, it hasn't. And as far as safety, just our personal experience, I feel very safe here. There's other parts of Portland downtown that I wouldn't necessarily get out and walk around. So I also think you know, we mentioned getting a lot of comments about how downhill Portland has gone and people point out specific instances of crime in downtown Portland. And I think that's true of anywhere and of any big city, unfortunately. And it is, the homelessness is a problem here. And I think that our local government really is working on it and needs to work on it. Yeah. it you know, for the people, who are impacted by it, both the people that are working and living down here and the homeless themselves. So I think, you know, that goes without saying, but I think to point out specific instances of crime, that's happening everywhere. And, you know, when I lived in Los Angeles, I worked downtown there. And when I first moved there 10 years ago, it was really rough. People say downtown Portland, there actually is a section called downtown, but there's actually a lot of other sections that make up the kind of the greater downtown area when people say downtown. So you have downtown Portland, you have Old Town Portland, you have the Pearl District, and you have Goose Hollow, and then you have the South Waterfront, which kind of gets out of downtown. And you have PSU, which is the South area of downtown. And you have Knob Hill, and you have the Alphabet District. So all those sections kind of make up downtown. And all those little areas can be way different. And most of them are feel very safe to walk around. So there's sections within um, some of those areas that feel less safe to walk around. So again, if you guys have any questions about that and you're thinking of moving downtown, please reach out and we can talk about the best area that might fit you and your lifestyle and your situation. Okay, so now let's talk about what is it like since most people aren't moving downtown, most people live in the suburbs or in the Southeast or Northeast or Southwest, Northwest Portland, which is that downtown. Yeah, I think that there are, I think most of the areas of residential Portland haven't changed very much yeah. um, as a result of the pandemic or you know, any sort of changes. So to be very honest, we live in Lake As We Go, which is a upscale suburb and we don't notice anything there. Yeah. Um, it feels incredibly safe. And I think that there are a lot of similar areas of Portland to Lake As We Go. If you look at West Lynn or Wilsonville or Sherwood or, you know, some of those Tiger to Wallatin where it feels very safe. And then I also think you know, some of the areas of Portland itself that we love, like in the Northeast, you have Irvington and Alameda, Laurelhurst, parts of the Southeast, like Mount Tabor. 
you know, it feels wonderful. It feels very safe. It feels very lifestyle and family friendly. Just from our experience getting out, taking our kids to parks. So we have a almost two year old and almost five year old and you know, we're getting out with them all the time. Yeah, I would concur 100% with all of those <laughs> sentiments and statements. That's what I like about you. <laughs> you get to the suburbs and it really hasn't missed a beat as far as the pandemic and increased crime. But again, there are gonna be parts of, of the Metro Portland that definitely have seen an increase of crime. I think it's interesting because we have small kids and so I'm very interested in just the shift in how kids are growing up these days and I have been reading some books about the freedoms that kids had when we were young to ride our bikes through the neighborhood and meet up with friends and then even more so when our parents were kids the type of freedom that kids had to be out and about and so I've been researching that a little bit and the statistics show that it's a much safer world today than it was even then. People don't feel like it is. And I think that has a lot to do with the sensationalization of crime in the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're not downplaying that crime isn't up in the last couple of years because it is. But crime has come down if you back out and zoom out of the picture, like the last 10, even 20 years, crime has come down a lot. Um, in that time span in most of the major cities all across the U.S. So, you know, during this COVID, it, we're not an isolated incident where certain parts of the cities uh, have seen a very large increase in crime uh, because of COVID, because of the shutdowns, because of businesses going, going out, um, changes in policy um, uh, of how to deal with crime, homelessness, and people, you know, sleeping on the streets. And so, and civil unrest. Yeah, and civil unrest. And so all those policies now, as we're kind of coming out of the main part of the pandemic and getting more to normal life, you know, things are changing. And I think policies will change. People are demanding changes as well. And so those things just don't need to be addressed as much in the suburbs. And I, I think just one other thing to say maybe that I would want to know if I was thinking about moving here is that there are a lot of people moving here. People are still seeing all of the good about Portland lifestyle and the beauty and the outdoors and the community nature of Portland. And people are moving here and those people are going to want to make it a great place to be and live. And so I think, you know, there are the few and far between who say like, oh, I'm so glad I got out of Portland or I would never consider it the comments that we get sometimes, but there's a whole nother world of people who are excited to move here, excited to be yeah. here. Um, and so, you know, if that's you and you're thinking about it, I would say definitely reach out and Erin can help you find the part of town that's gonna be a good fit for you and your family. That's right, so my information is right down there in the description area. If you're thinking about moving here and you have any questions, please feel free and reach out. I love answering questions and talking to people that are thinking of moving here. I'm your resource here on the ground in Portland. So feel free to reach out right down there in the description area. So in conclusion, to wrap up, is it safe to live in Portland? Yes, yes, it is safe to live in Portland. Lots of people, millions of people live here and love it here. Not everybody's gonna love it. You're gonna get haters that hate on Portland because of all the news and just because of certain policies and certain things going on in Portland. Is it perfect? No. If there's a perfect city with an international airport and all the things that Portland has to offer out there, let me know, leave me a comment of what you think the perfect city is uh, because I love Portland, but it's by far, it's not perfect. We're not here saying it is, but we do feel safe living here. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. We love it here. All right, guys, I hope this helps with a little bit of insight. If you're thinking of moving here and we're wondering, is Portland a safe place to live? See you guys in the next one.